Now to one and only exclusive cameras catching a dog going on the attack, and this happened at an apartment complex in Miami. And video you'll only see here on Local 10 shows the lengths a pet owner went to get that aggressive animal off of her own pet. Local 10's Leanne Morahone is joining us live. She's in Miami with this exclusive. Leanne. Yeah, the attack happened not far away from where I'm standing. Multiple cell phone videos and surveillance cameras captured this attack. And now the family that owns the little dog that was on the receiving end of it says they want to see the dog who bit him out of here. Disturbing video of a pit bull with its jaws locked onto the neck of another dog. Surveillance video from the Half Moon Apartments on Northwest 7th Street shows the large dog charging toward a woman and her four year old schnauzer mix named Tico. Ya me lo estaba, eh, matando. Elda Gonzalez Batista is the woman holding the leash. Yo pedí auxilio, socorro, porque no podía. Neighbors inside the gated complex tried honking their horns to stop the attack. Elda tries slapping the large dog, even hitting it with a traffic cone. After 10 minutes, she says the property manager intervened and successfully stopped the attack. I can explain how, how I felt at the moment. Ernesto is Elda's son. He says he was traveling out of town when the attack happened at 11.30 a.m. on February 16th. He says he was told the dog somehow escaped from this first floor unit at the Half Moon condos on Northwest 7 and went straight for Tico and his mom. It's very sad. Tico suffered serious injuries. He's undergone surgery and had to have layers of skin removed. His energy is low and so is his appetite, but his vet says he's recovering pretty well. He's the heart of this apartment. He's the heart of our life. He's everything for us. Ernesto says he and his mother no longer feel safe. Neighbors off camera told me they want to start a petition to have that pit bull banned from the complex. It can happen with, with a child or, you know, uh, with any person. And the only thing that I want is have this dog out of the building. So Miami police were called that day. They created a report and then referred the matter to Miami-Dade Animal Services. We did reach out to that pit bull owner who responded to my initial message, but then did not respond to my request for comment. We are told by Ernesto and Elda that that dog owner, though, did offer his apologies and is currently paying for Tico's treatments, which have so far totaled up to $3,000 and are expected to go higher. Reporting live here in Miami, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. Yeah, the only good news in that story is that Chico's going to be okay. All right, yeah. thank you, Leanne, for that.